Hi, welcome to Books to Boardrooms with Dr. Kiran. Uh, today we have Mr. Bashar Kalani. He is the Managing Director at Accenture Middle East. Uh, so before I start, uh, for everyone, can you just give a little background about you and Accenture Middle East? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I am uh, a Managing Director at Accenture Middle East, uh, uh, which is one of the largest global firms on consulting and technology services. Um, globally, Accenture has more than 700,000 uh, people working in, in different lines, whether it's strategy and consulting, technology, innovation, and operations. Uh, and uh, we're very focused uh, also here in the Middle East. We've been a prime partner for the Expo, uh, and it's been quite a, an interesting uh, experience to, to really witness that uh, partnership on digital transformation within Expo. I think, so when you talk about Accenture and you told about the, some of the key terminologies like innovation, uh, digital transformation, I think the whole world is going through a digital transformation and it's, it's much faster now. And one of the key terms which is now becoming so relevant and talk of the town is metaverse. So can you just uh, give a little sure. back, what is metaverse? Well, it's, it's interesting. Uh, Accenture uh, every year uh, issues what we call a technology vision report. So recently, last week, we've just issued the technology vision report for 2022. And a lot of it is really about the metaverse. Uh, and, and the way uh, it, it's described really, uh, it's about a, a series of uh, virtual and physical experiences that people will go through uh, in the next few years. And I think it will become uh, really a part of our life uh, in almost everything we do. Uh, the internet has developed over the last few years. Uh, dramatic changes have taken place. So we started with uh, the internet of data back in the 90s where we were looking uh, for data and searching for them. And then we moved into the internet of people where we started to connect with people and, and build networks and so on. Uh, and after that, we went into the Internet of Things, which is probably where we are today with, with all these devices and handheld uh, phones uh, that enable you to order taxis and food and, and, and all that stuff. And you're building a, a very interesting experience within the world that you're living in. Uh, the next phase uh, is going to be the Internet of Places, where you will have an experience that takes you to virtual and physical places, but also it's going to be the internet of ownership, where you own digital assets. Uh, and that's a, a big transformation. So all these things coming together is probably what we will call the, the metaverse or the continuum of metaverse, which is a, a series or a spectrum of experiences that take you from virtual to physical, from 2D to 3D, from uh, real life to, to a, a more integrated life that we have. And that's all been accelerated by the pandemic. Um, and I think the technology capabilities that we have today enables that. And you'll see more of that as we move forward. So do you see Metaverse getting applied in uh, uh, for transforming the existing businesses, some of the industries which are going to adopt and they're we can see a transformation happening in those industries. Can you just give a little? Of course, I think uh, you will see uh, the metaverse changing the way we interact and behave. And let me give you an example from Accenture itself. Uh, during the pandemic, we've hired more than 150,000 employees. Okay. And uh, it was very logical to have a virtual campus where we actually do all the induction and training and, and capabilities around that. Uh, and at one point, we distributed more than 60,000 headsets and devices for all the new joiners. Uh, we call it One Accenture Park. Uh, and it's been a, a, an interesting experience for many of the new joiners that actually come in and get to know each other, get to know the company, get to learn about it. And it's been a transformative experience for many of them. Now that metaverse experience was extended to uh, what we call, for example, uh, centers to welcome our customers and have engagements with our biggest and global customers. Uh, we've also extended it to include digital twins of our offices. So you can actually 
have an experience that mixes the digital and the physical while you're sitting with, within uh, your office and having your meetings and so on. Um, when, you, when you look at how this actually can be extended to industry, uh, you, you will see that it has got a lot of applications uh, today uh, in engineering, in manufacturing, in tourism, in education. Uh, a lot of these new business concepts uh, that will mix the digital and virtual experience are going to emerge and, and reshape the way we are in doing business today. I think I was about to ask that as the next question in terms of so which are industries can adopt metaverse. So you told about education or you talk about uh, uh, technology companies. Uh, so how does these companies can adopt these metaverse and what are the key benefits by adopting uh, metaverse and does Accenture uh, play a role in terms of uh, helping organization uh, uh, implementing as per their requirement uh, this metaverse? Of course. Uh, we've just announced that we will have a business unit dedicated for, for the metaverse. And, and reality is, a few years back, we used to say every business is a digital business. Probably every business in the future will be a metaverse business or a metaverse continuum business. Uh, this is uh, a, a new set of experiences. And, and if you look at where and how it's going to be implemented, I think uh, customer service is going to be an area where the metaverse is going to be a big, a big scene and a big player. Uh, the way we do work, and, and you've seen within Accenture, I've mentioned the example, we do the training, the induction, the town halls, customer meetings, internal, all of this is, is going to be done in, in the metaverse in a different way. How we launch products and distribute products in the future is going to be an interesting element. And uh, you've probably heard a lot about organizations that are already creating products for the, for the metaverse. Uh, there, there are many uh, uh, brands today that are offering uh, their, their products and solutions on, on the metaverse. So basically you are buying a, a digital string that is an NFT basically with a smart contract. Yeah? And then finally the way we're going to be running and operating our businesses is going to take advantage of all this virtual and physical experiences where we move back and forth between uh, on-prem, off-prem, cloud, edge, all, all these kind of different technologies. So uh, really across the, across the board we will see uh, a transformation that will help us use this quant continuum, let me say, of metaverse. And Accenture being a technology enabler, I think adapting uh, such thing within the organization, I think um, you will be able to understand where are the gaps and how to improve, what are the capabilities needed so that you can smoothly implement and get the best out of it. So from that experience, if I may ask you, so if an organization really want to move from his current, uh, maybe the digital mode uh, to a metaverse, so what are the key things an organization should internally possess in terms of uh, capabilities so that they can move and successfully adopt uh, you know, metaverse in their organization? I think uh, the, the metaverse is going to be extremely important for companies, cities, nations, and individuals. Uh, and in my view, there are three key elements. One is, of course, the technology. You need to have the technical infrastructure, whether it's the bandwidth, the digital cloud integration, the capabilities, the, the, the digital infrastructure that can manage and, and handle this kind of uh, of new environment. Uh, second is of course having the policies and regulations around it and uh, we've seen cities and nations starting with data laws, cloud acts and, 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 and these kind of policies that will establish trust and establish capabilities uh, within these virtual experiences. Um, and finally of course it's talent. Uh, what kind of uh, skills do I need to, to, for people to master this kind of mix between the virtual and, and physical world. And we've seen in the last few years due to COVID, uh, we've, we've seen a lot of uh, digital transformation happening. We're moving much more into a 2D metaverse. We are doing a lot of uh, our interactions today uh, via Teams or Zoom remotely. Uh, and, and that's something that's happened very quickly in the last 18 months. Uh, and that kind of transformation will continue with us into, into the metaverse. 
And so we can see these things happening in, in this part of the world soon when you talk about the policies and uh, the infrastructure needed. Is UAE ready to have organizations adopt metaverse uh, here? I think the UAE is very well positioned and it's probably one of the first uh, countries in the world that is going to have a, a, a mark in, in the metaverse. We've seen last week uh, Dubai has been the first uh, to announce a, a law to regulate digital assets. Yes. Uh, we've seen uh, the UAE being one of the pioneers when it comes to having a data law. Uh, we are looking at uh, all the different uh, laws and policies and regulations that set the stage for a digital economy that embraces the metaverse. Uh, and I think uh, if I look at the sectors that can probably be the first to, to really get uh, transformed, I would definitely education. Uh, tourism is another area where uh, providing a virtual and a, and a physical experience to the, the sites that you want to visit, uh, the, the, the places that you want to go is, is going to be very transformative. Healthcare is another uh, engagement that uh, uh, really will transform an industry uh, completely. Imagine that you can be uh, sitting and living in Dubai and being treated by a doctor somewhere else using some 5G technologies and so on. This requires, of course, the infrastructure. It requires regulations so that we understand who's responsible for what and where. But it also gives a great uh, opportunity to people to start to uh, engage and interact in this uh, virtual world and, and get real benefits. I think, that, I think that's an enormous opportunity. So when there's enough opportunity, I think, so. As I told you, my channel is mostly viewed by a lot of students. So what will be your takeaway to them in terms of how can they prepare themselves, whether in terms of upgrading their skills or uh, learn some of the courses which will help them to either, for example, get a job in a company like uh, Accenture to be a developer as a metaverse or uh, running or you know using this technology in some of the organization a lot of IT departments people are need to be updated and upgraded uh, you know to make sure that these things can be applied properly in their organization to get the best out of it because sure. a lot of companies do digital transformation but they don't see the results to get the results there has to be a talent development across uh, technology development as well as talent development so what will be your uh, advice to the students maybe they're studying and you know how can they they get a much better understanding about the metaverse so that they can, they can be ready, the future ready as students. Yeah. I think uh, talking to management students at a, at a master's or, or MBA level, um, this is an opportunity to reimagine the world, to reimagine industries, uh, how they can actually uh, look at opportunities in, in the future. Uh, honestly, with this new metaverse, I would argue we can and will completely redefine how education is done. Uh, there is probably no need to have a, a lot of physical classes anymore. You don't need to travel to get educated. Uh, we will probably move into a new system where you get digital badges, which are really NFTs or smart contracts that you can actually take from one place to the other. You can actually choose your, 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 your development paths, you can uh, definitely uh, engage in what I would call career-long learning. Uh, maybe we will be looking at a future where you will continuously have to update your skills and capabilities and we will live in a world where uh, digital badges or digital certificates from all over the world are going to be a, a very important uh, uh, aspect of, of the way we, we do our learning and, and education. So my, my message to them is embrace the metaverse, uh, be open to redefining and challenging a lot of the concepts that we know today and take as granted and, and start to try and be ahead of the game where you can charter and develop and, and actually uh, lay out these uh, new foundations for the new world that we will go through. Uh, thanks a lot, Mr. Uh, I think it's, it's wonderful talking about Metaverse, uh, you explaining in a very simple and, uh, uh, you know, simple way so that I think students or myself can understand what exactly it is. 
and that's a new a lot of new opportunities i think uh, this is innovation to the next level and we all will be doing a much more i think there'll be a lot of research coming in this area and we look forward to see some of these things really happening in uh, dubai uh, in in terms of industries and sectors adopting it and thanks a lot for your time and uh, pleasure having you here thank you thank you thank you pleasure is mine thank you very much